In this video, I'm going to be reading three short horror stories. They're all quite different, ranging from how to find your lost twin, to monsters, parasitic zombies, and shredding creatures. There's a lot in this video, so get ready. I'm going to jump into those stories in just a minute. What I'm going to be doing for this story is not using any outlines to begin with. I'm just going to be going in with my Copics and kind of just see what happens, keep it loose, have fun with it, and hopefully create something cool. I will go in with my fine liner at the end to add some texture and just some dot work, but not really outlining. So with that being said, let's jump into these stories. I hope you guys enjoy. Lost Twin, the game. This is a game where the participants get the chance to meet the twin they've never known in life. It's a simple game to play, but the repercussions can be overwhelming. The twin is a reflection of who you really are, not who you pretend to be. If you're a genuinely good person, your twin encounter will be pleasant and gratifying. But if you're a bad person, someone who bullies, lies, steals, cheats, manipulates or hurts other people, then your experience will be dark and painful. In order to play the game, you require the following. An empty closet, a lit candle, and a mirror. To start, Hang the mirror on the wall in the closet. Any size will do. Be sure to hang it on the wall across from the closet door, so the door is being reflected when closed. With the candle already lit, walk into the closet and shut the door behind you. Look at the mirror. You'll see a reflection of yourself and the closet door. Knock on the mirror twice, just as if you're trying to knock on the closet door. Blow out the candle, and knock on the mirror two more times. You'll hear the closet door open, but the door behind you is still shut. Next, you'll hear breathing. The game has begun. In a calm voice, greet your twin with a simple hello, and wait for their response. Afterward, ask a simple yes or no question. They will answer. The twin will respond in one of two ways, a kind response or a hostile response. Good people will receive a kind hello in return for their greeting. Ask your question and your answer will be whispered back to you. Shortly after, a sense of warmth and comfort will overcome the player. The sound of a door shutting will signal the end of the game as your twin has made contact passed on their message, and left the closet. Bad people will receive an angry, animalistic snarl in response. If you try to ask a question, you will be answered with scratches or bites from your twin. A bone-chilling cold will fill the closet, and a sense of impending doom will bring about an unshakable feeling of dread that will linger for hours. You'll hear the sound of the closet door slamming shut, and the mirror will fall off the wall, shattering into pieces. When you leave the closet, be sure to take the mirror with you, intact or broken. If you leave the mirror behind, you'll be plagued by your twin's voice calling out to you and knocking on your walls until you remove the mirror. 
this game reveals a lot about a person's soul. Player beware. Body Parasite It was the normal routine for me. Wake up, get ready, work for hours, go home, eat, and sleep. By normal routine, I mean painfully repetitive routine. I've been walking home from work lately. Mostly because my car needs to get fixed, and partly because I didn't want to have to pay for a cab. I have a low paying job, and I live by myself since my parents have passed away, forcing me to quit college so I could pay the bills. However, this night feels... off, somehow. It's like someone is following me. But maybe the person behind me is just going in the same direction. Curious, I took out my phone. Not to make a call or text anyone, but to look at the reflection of the person behind me. Of course, I couldn't see much. It was dark and the cell phone screen reflections aren't really the best. What I saw was a slender figure wearing a long trench coat, and... Huh? The person behind me, most likely a woman. Her face had been shaded by the darkness, but after passing a streetlight, I could see her smile widely. Her eyes and cheekbones were sunken, and her lips were... Were they... rotting? Yes, I could see clearly. The skin around her lips was dark and reddened, like they were scraped severely. But in this case, it was decaying. I put away my phone as quickly as possible. Young man. A piercing guttural voice emanated from the... thing behind me causing me to involuntarily stop, as my knees started shaking violently just from looking at their face. I couldn't help but slowly turn my head to see it practically staggering towards me. It opened its eyes widely, making it obvious that its eyes were bloodshot. Give me your skin. New host for this parasite. I couldn't move my feet, no matter how much I tried. It was like something was holding me down. I looked down and around my ankles. Just what was it? It looked like thick strands of flesh or something jutting out from the cracks in the sidewalk. The thing's eyes popped out of the sockets, and its mouth dropped open, revealing rotting teeth. The trench coat fell from the woman's shoulders, which was apparently the only article of clothing she had. Out of nowhere, her skinless hand ripped open her stomach, and made the gash larger and larger until the thing crawled out of the body. I was about ready to throw up at that point. I couldn't move. I couldn't breathe. The thing, that parasite, was slouched over. It had eyes, but they had no irises and pupils. It had no skin. It was all made up of muscle and it was staggering to me, raising its clawed hand with a disgusting smile. Skin, 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 it's mine, it's mine. 
I couldn't even scream as it cut open my stomach. It wasn't long after that that I was dead. Every muscle, every bone, every organ, every vein and artery was ripped out and it made its way inside me and stitched up every cut from the inside. Shredders. If you're listening to this, turn off your light before you continue. They are attracted to light because they know someone is alive in the room. I call them shredders. They will shred any form of life they come in contact with. Don't be fooled by their human appearance. They only seem human with their expressionless face and slow, steady pace. But their eyes grow wide when they see life, and they can't help but murder them with their long, sharp nails. They will start with your face ripping it to shreds, then your neck. After that, you're dead, so you can't feel the rest, but they shred you until you are a pile of rotting flesh. I know this because I survived an attack of the shredders. My family wasn't so lucky. The only reason I survived is because I thought of a way to stop them. I got a picture of my mother and held it out in front of my face. They can't kill what is already dead. Their footsteps sound like leaves crackling because of the way their bones rub against each other. If you hear this noise out of your window, don't worry, there may be time to save your life. Hurry and grab a picture of one of your family members before they get to your room. I bet you're thinking, what? My family is alive and well. Are you sure? When was the last time you checked on them? I've finished the drawing and I've got it right here. I just thought I'd give a quick recap and my final thoughts on how I felt it went. Overall, it's definitely not one of my best pieces. I knew that from the start. It was more an experimental piece and I was just hoping for the best because I didn't really plan it out very well. I like some of the splash effects. I think that was probably the coolest part and also really fun to do. A lot of it's not super defined, that's why I felt like I really needed to go in with the fine liner to add some texture and detail to it. I feel like it really needed that, otherwise it's pretty hard to tell what was going on in here. Overall, it was okay, it was fun. I hope you guys enjoyed watching the process at least and enjoyed the stories. Hey, I forgot. Thumbs up if you enjoyed the video, subscribe if you're new, and with that being said, I will catch you guys in the next drawing video. Thanks for watching.